Hello, I'm going to show you something a little neat. You may, may or may not have heard about this before, but um, I'm going to show you a way to check your check engine codes, pull your trouble codes, and get information about your trouble codes using your tablet or your smartphone or whatever device you happen to have that has either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. First thing you're going to want to do, and this is the part that costs a little bit of money, I went on eBay and I bought this, I'm sorry, not eBay, Amazon.com, I bought this IE Geek Wi-Fi interface. I could have got either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Both work as long as your the adapter, or as far as as long as the uh, system you're using supports that connection type. This plugs right into your OBD port, OBD2 port on your car, and will communicate with software on your phone. Which first thing we're going to do actually, I'm going to plug this in. By the way, this was sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents, and I, I want to warn you. Um, spend a little more money because the really cheap ones are typically in Thailand and then they take 21 days to get to your house. So, just a little tip. I'm going to plug this in down here. This is a 2004 Sebring convertible. I'm going to plug this hog in way under here in the most inopportune spot you could possibly find. Get a couple flashing lights. Got my key in the on position. I'm going to turn on this little device here. And I'm going to go to, first of all, I'm going to go to settings because I have to pair this to the phone. Or rather, the device. To the OBD2 device. So, I'm going to go to, I'm going to using the Wi-Fi. So there's my Wi-Fi. It's already seeing it there. Wi-Fi OBD2, signal strength. Okay, connect. I'm going to connect to that. It says I'm connected. I'm going to back out. I'm going to pull up this program. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's called Torque. If you go to your Play Store and search Torque, you'll see there's a couple different versions. One is a free version, and one is uh, $4.99. Man, I wish I could get a little clearer view of that, but I can't. So, I'm using the free version here because I figure most people are going to go want to go to the cheap way um, just to be able to pull their codes. So, I'm going to demonstrate that. We already paired. It's going to ask me a couple dumb questions. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Now, here's the basic, the basic torque free. There's a little gear in the bottom here. I'm going to hit that, and then on the top of the menu it says fault codes. Show logged faults. It says please wait while it's communicating. Requesting fault codes from the vehicle. Fault code P0108. That is a map sensor code. I know this because I induced that code for the purpose of this video. However, if you click on that code, it gives you the option of checking the internet. It says manifold absolute pressure barometric pressure circuit high input. What that tells me is the circuit's high. Well, there's something wrong. It's not connected because I disconnected it. If you have Wi-Fi where you're at while you're doing this, you can click web. And it'll take you to a DTT search, dtcsearch.com and I may be out of range of my Wi-Fi and then at that location it'll give you even more information about your trouble code now there are a lot of different things you can do with this program there's a boost gauge there's tons of different gauge there's throttle position uh, percentages there's a uh, manifold pressure depending on what your vehicle is showing uh, has as far as sensors you can pull codes you can get tons and tons of information it even does what some of the things that my high-end scanner does as far as saving a snapshot when a code is thrown it can read that snapshot so you can look through all the sensor information it has graphing and just you know there's just a lot of different things this thing can do and for sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents and some free software it's a darn good deal to me a darn good value and I would highly recommend anyone who can afford the sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents to do so purchase this little adapter off of Amazon I will put a link down to the one that I bought again this is Wi-Fi it's not Bluetooth you can use either one as long as your device supports Wi-Fi and or Bluetooth okay so kind of neat check it out again I'll post links down below it's really cool it's a really decently powerful tool for the money I mean some of these scanners cost in the thousands of dollars and here's you pulling codes and getting information about your own codes using a device you probably already have and spending sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents so I hope this helped a lot of people um, I recommend that if you are serious about this or at least passing interest in this or think this might be useful to you go ahead and do it so
not a lot of money and it's worth it to me should be worth it to you as well thank you for watching the video I'm gonna end it here I hope you could see everything probably not but apologies in advance thank you